And this is an example taken from the, the water resource system techniques book called Vedula. And um, so uh, th this is uh, this this help us to go through and uh, see how how uh, one can come up with um, the linear equations and uh, do the linear programming analysis um, in in, uh, in Excel. So um, uh, this it's in a, this this example say that uh, two crops are grown on a land of 200 hectare. Which means uh, you have to uh, you have to see that the hand, uh, land is limited to 200 hectare, and the cost of raising crop one is three units per hectare, and uh, the cost of growing crop two is one unit per hectare, and uh, the benefits from crop one is five units per hectare, and uh, from crop two is two units per hectare, and uh, the total amount of money available is only 300 units, and um, for raising both crops. And, uh, and the, the question is, uh, what should be the cropping plan? So how much area I will go to uh, the crop one and how much area I will go to crop two so that we can obtain the maximum benefit. So um, if we formulate a problem first, so um, the, the, uh, the, the say like, uh, for example, if you have a crop one, um, crop one um, and uh, crop two, Okay, and uh, let's say the area of crop one. Let's represent the area which is been uh, covered by crop one as X, and the area which is being covered by crop two as Y. So um, uh, the the, uh, the we have we have we have uh, we have seen that um, cost, okay, cost wise, cost wise, um, cost uh, per unit area per or hectare per unit uh, units. Um, in units per hectare, for example, uh, for crop one, how much is it? Uh, for crop one, it is uh, three units per hectare. The cost is for crop two, it is uh, one unit per hectare, which means in units per hectare for crop one it is three, for crop two it is one. And uh, the again um, benefits, okay, in, in units per hectare. Okay. Unit per hectare, units represent the money. So, uh, in this case also, uh, we have uh, five units per hectare from crop one and uh, two units per hectare from crop two. So this is five, and this is two. And um, and and then uh, what, what you can see again is the money available. Okay, money available, um, and uh, it is. Um, 300 okay. and the land available it is um, 200 hectare this is 300 units uh, 300 units of money and uh, 200 hectare of land so um, now this is uh, the cost uh, per unit area so, a uh, cost total cost. If you want to find total cost, so the the, the total cost in whatever you call it, units uh, is can be per dollar or uh, pound, whatever it is. So you have area, uh, you have uh, the cost per unit a area. So if you multiply this area is given in hectare. So. Uh, so if you multiply area by the uh, uh, the cost, which means uh, hectare will go by hectare, then we have uh, the total cost of the the, 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 uh, the crop. So which means the total cost of crop one goes to be three x, and uh, the total cost of crop two is going to be y. One times y is y. So and total benefits. Okay, total benefits. Uh, in, in, in units so the total benefit will be this is uh, the benefit that we can obtain from uh, a, a, a one hectare for crop one and this is a benefit that we can obtain from one hectare for crop two so if we multiply this by the area which we will get the total benefit so this means it is 5x okay 5x and uh, this is 2y 
now uh, from this one we can create uh, our 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 our, uh, our conditions or our uh, problem so uh, now formulate uh, the the problem okay now our objective function uh, the objective function will be D. Okay, let's say D is our objective function. So what is Z? Uh, Z should actually be equal to D are uh, the objective function. Z should be equal to. So our objective is to maximize the benefit. So the, the total benefit is how much? From crop one it is five x. From crop two it is two y. So the benefit is five x. Uh, sorry, five x uh, plus two uh, y. But this is the total benefit and but there are constraints okay there are constraints constraints so what are the constraints uh, one uh, the land is limited so what is the total area we have for crop one we have area x for crop two we have area y so total area uh, total, if you want to get the total area uh, it should be x plus why right then uh, but uh, we have limited area it is only 200 hectares so x plus y should be uh, less than or equal to uh, 200 hectare okay and uh, again uh, you can you can look at the money available so uh, uh, the, the crops are going to cost uh, 5x uh, 3x and uh, y amount of monies and um, the, if you the, the only money you have is 300 so the cost of uh, crop one and the cost of crop two should be laid down or equal to this one so we can create that 3x uh, which is the cost of crop one plus uh, y the cost of crop two should be laid down or equal to 300 this is one and the other thing is uh, that x and y are positive values because they are area area cannot be negative which means whatever you do x should be greater than or equal to zero and uh, y should be greater than or equal to zero so this is the conditions now we can do our analysis and we can create uh, the conditions so for that we have to write our parameters in terms of volume in terms of formula so assume some certain random x and y values okay you have to assume certain uh, random x and y values which totals to 200 um, the area is 200 so x plus y should be 200 then uh, if you assume like um, an area of 100 um, 124x and, um, and 84y so it totals to uh, 200 then we'll create the formulas so z the total benefits that is our objective to maximize the benefits and to, ma to maximize the benefits so how much area should go to crop one and how much area should go to crop two so this is equal to 5x plus 2y so it is five times uh, the x value and then plus um, two times uh, the y value so this totals to 760 so there are constraints this is objective function the objective function and the constraints constraints are uh, the first is that um, x plus y so x plus y means this plus this should be uh, less than or equal to okay less than or equal to um, 200 yeah and um, the second one is that uh, 3x 3x uh, plus um, plus y equal to this it should be less, uh, less than or equal to 300 which is not fulfilling the conditions at the same time you have x values which is uh, x and x value should be greater than or equal to uh, 100 or oh, uh, zero sorry zero and uh, this should be y okay the y value should be greater than or equal to zero again uh, this is the constraint last constraints so depending on this one we can iterate for the best values that we can obtain so uh, to, to optimize uh, we can use um, a solver again so you go to data and they have a solver 
then and now you have to set your object so your objective is to maximize this value okay this needs to be a formula you have to write them in a formula if you enter a number it's not going to iterate anything so this is uh, this is uh, the 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 uh, the objective function and um, the objective function needs to be maximized so it is a benefit we have to maximize it if it is uh, about problem so we have to consider minimizing if it is error we have to minimize it in this case we are we are uh, looking for a maximum benefit so we have to maximize that. so uh, then by changing uh, variables so in this case um, x and y are the important variables and uh, we just assumed them randomly we don't know uh, the, the exact value so by changing these x and y values and we need the equation or the, the, the uh, solution to be maximum value then for that you have to enter a constraint and then to add your constraints you, you can just come here and say add this is, this is the constraint boxes and then you can say add so the first constraint is that uh, the, the x plus y which means this should be less than or equal to uh, 200 and then say add and then, then the additional one is that um, the 3x plus y should be less than or equal to 300 okay and then say add again and then this is uh, that the value of y or the value of x uh, should be uh, greater than or equal to zero and say add the value of x should be greater than or equal to uh, zero and say uh, you have inputted the, all the four uh, constraints and say okay so check the, the dimensions and the values you input here if they are correct that once you are done with them uh, you can use a simplex linear programming so simplex method uh, you might you might uh, come up uh, with this or you might learn detail about simplex method in in water resource systems so simplex method uh, will uh, do the iterations and solve the equation uh, the, the problems you create so say okay then uh, here you can see the result is so if you have to iterate again go to solver and then the, the same constraints are there and they say solve then um, you can have your outline reports okay can see the scenarios okay. and um, this is uh, this is what you get so this is uh, x is equal to 50 and y is equal to 150 which means these are the optimal values uh, where the objective function is maximized to 550 units and uh, all the criteria has been met so this is how we do optimization uh, in Excel.